This video is about the ion calorimeter or iCal, the neutrino detector to be used in ion. We will see what components there are in iCal and how it works to detect and study neutrinos. The active particle detector used in iCal is called resistive plate chambers or RPCs. RPCs can detect charged particles. iCal will contain vertically stacked layers of RPCs. The separation between two layers is 9.6 cm. There will be an electromagnet maintaining a magnetic field in the detector. We know that a magnetic field will curve the trajectory of a charged particle. Muon is an elementary particle that carries negative charge. In fact, muons are identical to electrons except for being around 200 times heavier. Imagine the magnetic field to be into the screen. If a muon were to travel from top to down, its path will be curved in clockwise direction as per right hand rule. The RPCs have pixels that will click when a muon passes through it. By looking at these clicks, we can know the track of the muon. Slower muons will curve more sharply than the faster muons. So, by looking at the curvature, we can measure the momentum of the muons. How a pixel in RPC clicks? This has to do with the charged particle ionizing the gas in it. But a neutrino is chargeless. It will not ionize the gas mixture. So, it will not make the RPCs click. Neutrinos will almost always go through everything, including the RPCs. So how do we detect neutrinos? It is often said that neutrinos are ghost particles which just go through everything. This is not exactly true. Neutrinos do interact with everything around you, just that the probability of interaction is extremely small. For example, it is estimated that in your lifetime, a trillion trillion neutrinos from the sun goes through you out of which one or two would have interacted with some nucleus in your body. The more the number of target nuclei there are, more the chances of interaction. So a dense and large detector will more likely have a neutrino interaction than a small light one. The trick done in iCal is to keep iron plates between the RPCs. We call the iron plates the passive detector. Most of the neutrinos will still pass through the detector, but rarely one of them will see the dense iron nucleus, interact with it, and give off a muon. Now we can see the track of the muon generated due to a neutrino interaction. What we look for is a sudden track that appears in the middle of the detector out of nowhere. This is a signature left behind by the neutrinos. iCal detector can differentiate between a neutrino and an antineutrino. An antineutrino interacts to give off an antimuon. Antimuons have positive charge and they will be curved counterclockwise by the magnet. ICAL detector will click even if there are muons coming. The surface of our Earth is always bombarded by cosmic muons. To escape from this background, ICAL is to be constructed under the peak of a 1.2 km tall mountain. The muons will be slowed down and decayed in the rock cover, but the neutrinos will reach the ICAL. The probability of neutrino interaction is extremely small that the ICAL, like other neutrino detectors around the world, is going to be a big detector. ICAL will have 151 layers of iron sandwiching RPCs and will be 14.5 meter tall, 16 meter by 16 meter. There will be three such modules with a total of around 29,000 RPCs, each of size 2 meter by 2 meter. The total mass of iron is 50 kilotons. Apart from being the passive detector, the iron plates serve one more role. They form the core of the electromagnet. The magnet will have a field of 1.5 tesla and will draw a current of around 1000 amperes. The data acquisition system of iCal, with around 3.6 million channels, will be patiently waiting to capture the tracks left by neutrino interactions. And out of the billions of atmospheric neutrinos going through the detector each day, on average 3 will leave their signature in the iCal detector. With several years of data, iCal will help physicists answer a question about the tiny masses of neutrinos in their pursuit of physics beyond the standard model. 